Have you ever wondered whether the driver swing is the same as the iron swing? Find out in a minute. Have you ever wondered whether you should be making exactly the same swing with the driver as you do with an iron? The truth is yes and no. Um, if you look at the difference between the irons and the, and the woods, the main thing is the length and their angle at the address position. There can be up to a 16 degree difference between the lie angle of a driver and the lie angle of a wedge. When you're swinging a golf club then, the question is whether you would always take the same address position and then make a slightly different movement for every club in the bag or whether you would maybe change the address position to fit to every individual club. Now if you were to do the first that would mean that your shoulder angle would have to be relative to the plane of the golf club. So if you have a wedge in your hand you would have to be able to tilt your shoulders down from their normal position around about 16 degrees and if you had a driver in your hand you could just turn around your original spine axis. In truth what we see is that the good golfers have a slightly more upright address position for the driver and a slightly more bent over position or tilted position for the wedge and that way, their body is always doing the same thing. So I try to work on a, on a feeling of being at around about 100 degrees to the club. So if you can imagine, if I take the wedge there, I'm trying to get my spine not at right angles, but feeling around about 100 degrees to it. I mean, again, it's, we're not talking about getting out a protractor and measuring this. And then as I turn, I'm trying to get my shoulders down parallel to the original plane of the club. And the same is true of the driver. The difference is here that I'm wanting to stand a little bit more upright to the golf ball. So theoretically, I'm 16 degrees more upright, but I'm doing exactly the same movement now with my shoulders as I was doing with a wedge. If you think of the, the actual change in the tilt axis of my shoulders, and the bending of my thoracic spine. So I really am having a feeling of doing exactly the same thing whether I've got a wedge in my hand or whether I've got a driver in my hand. Of course there's other things to think about. Ball position, obviously I'm going to put a wedge in the middle of my stance and I'm going to have a ball across from my left heel or even my left toe when I'm driving the ball. But I think one of the things that you can see the majority of time by professional golfers is there is sometimes a change in their driver swing in comparison to their iron swing. And the main change is what they're doing with the leg work. If you actually see um, Justin Thomas, Rory McIlroy, Robbie Fowler, Robbie Fowler is a very good footballer, um, not a very good golfer apparently, um, but, <laughs> but if you look at Ricky Fowler, now he's a very good golfer, then what, what happens in the downswing is they're using the ground forces to actually accelerate the club. That means they are straightening their legs through impact. They get a normal swing going on and just before impact, they're actually straightening their legs through to get more power and more club head speed. This is something you'll see some of the girls on the ladies PGA Tour doing all the time, even with their irons. But for the blokes, usually you'll only see it with a driver. And the reason is there's been a, basically a mental change to the way they play golf. They're only really taking a driver to hit it a long way. If they want to hit a fairway, they'll take a three wood. Um, but it's a, that's all well and good if you hit a three wood 250 meters. For the normal hobby golfer, and even for me, I'm trying to hit a fairway with my driver. Um, and that means that I'm trying to swing within myself. So only if I've got a lot of room will I start kind of jumping at it like this. I won't do that with a normal, a normal drive if I'm just wanting to hit a fairway which is only 25 to 30 meters wide. So, is it the same swing? In my opinion, the feeling is exactly the same. Is it the same address position? No. 
I want to stand a little bit more upright to a driver, a little bit more uh, bent over to my wedges. And is it exactly the same movement through the ball? Then, well, that depends very much on whether you're using the ground forces effectively to give you more club head speed. If you are, then no, it's a different movement than you're doing with your irons. If you aren't, then yes, it's the feeling of making the same shot. Hope this has helped to clear it up. Uh, if you liked the video as ever, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. As ever, my philosophy, you can get downloaded here for about 99 cents. Um, look forward to seeing you next time. Ciao.